Storage. It's a thing all campers need, but today we're changing everything. From the fridge, to the drawers, to the entire rear setup. So firstly, what's actually wrong with the current setup? Now, it's not that it's bad, it's just, it's not very usable. Imagine this, you pull up to a roadside stop to make a sandwich. Oh, where's the forks? They're buried in a tub full of... All right, so we're gonna need the forks, which is somewhere here in a mess. Uh, yep, that will do. Oh, uh, we need the bread. Where the hell's the bread? Where's 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 now, the problem the is, I get Where's stuck there bread? looking for bread, bread for the next bread? five minutes. So yes, there's more the usability that's bad um, and the fact that a lot of things go missing and they're just hard to get to and there's just too much clutter. Don't get me wrong, I'm a boy, I'm terrible at keeping stuff neat. Have a look at my drawer, my bedroom's probably worse, but it's just that there's a better way this can be done. I think it can be solved by using proper drawers with proper storage slots instead of just piling on to a big tub like we have here. But even this is miles ahead of my original setup. It's nothing special. I made this out of 4x4 super center boxes, but it works. And I will give this side of the setup credit because this is just an XCM drawer that I bought in my Pajero oh, probably three years ago, I got it as a Christmas present. And this King's fridge, which I also have had here for like three years, which I also got as a present from my mates. So, oh, that's, that's rank in there. It's a very usable system and it's a great budget system, especially if you're just getting into, you know, full wheel drive camping, you don't want to like a massive setup. That's, that works brilliant. But once you, you know, go out for longer days, you want to bring more food away, you want a bigger fridge, all these things add up. And I'm really making this fit out work as a fit up that could potentially take me on a big trip. Because of the Cruiser Company rear bar I added, I've really decided that I want this rear space to be the kitchen. I want to do all my living next to my car, close to my car. I don't want to be in a tent that's a few feet away. Everything's done close, which means everything inside the rear needs to be quickly accessible, usable, without having to pull it all out and put it somewhere else then to use it. I have chairs that live in here, I have fishing rods, I have cookers, I have some extra water, um, I've got spares, spares. All this stuff has to be factored in when designing the new drawers. So once you pull it all out, you realize just how much room you have back here. And I was really inefficient in the way I sort it all. You can really fit a lot back here if you try. And it's a similar story with the back seats because I've ripped them out to give me more space, but I haven't used the space very well. So a lot of this is gonna be working out how can we best make a system that takes advantage of all the space we've got here, but it still allows me that ease of use to you know put bags in or put tools in and take tools out. So really gotta redesign this whole section as much as redesigning the rear section as well. So right now I'm heading to town because we're visiting a place called The Drawer Company. Now there I'm going to be meeting a bloke named Michael. Michael's going to help us set up the drawers to how I'd like them. They're going to be custom made to my spec. So, super exciting day. Let's head down and get straight on into it. I'm Michael. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Alright, so we're here at The Drawer Company with Michael. He's going to be basically helping me work out a drawer system for yeah. the 80 series. You said before you've had like 11 systems in your cruiser now. So I think drawer systems are a super important thing. Like when you're camping, you want the rear to be accessible, functional and usable. Um, I was looking at his setup before, which we'll have a look at later and it's bloody awesome. I'm, I'm getting jealous of it. So, um, but you've been working here for how long? You've been... Um, yeah, so we've been sort of doing this as a business for about 18 months now. Yep. Yeah, and it's sort of almost as soon as we started, like you just, there's so much demand for it because we're in Melbourne. There's heaps of people in Victoria, lots of Forbeers like us. We both own Forbeers and um, yeah, we've been doing like sort of mods for them, building draw systems for years now. And so we sort of started working on as a business. So did the idea to start building drawers as a job, did that come from obviously working on your 60 yeah. here? So we, you know, like both of us, my 60 and Triton's 100, we've been sort of just in the shed. Like, like everyone else, you just build up a cheap draw system just to keep all your gear because like you said, like there's so much space in the back of these cars and there's like so much ways to like to get everything in and out um, when you're camping and off-roading and everything um, it's just great to have like a way to organize everything so you know I've made like every time you make it you get sick of it and you 
tear it all out, start again, <laughs> spend thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so we sort of came up with this idea of a uh, modular system. This system here, for example, if I wanted, I can get sort of two more flat pieces. I can pull off these two drawers and this fridge box, pull my fridge out, make this whole thing flat, and then I've got heaps of storage space if I'm just carrying stuff around town or even if I just wanted to run one drawer. So obviously you've decided to use drawer slides. Yeah, so we, we use these locking drawer slides. So the drawers come out and they lock out. So if you're ever on a hill or you know not parked on flat ground, the drawers won't just sort of close on you. And that's especially great with these um, tables. So with this one I've got, this is this in particular is sort of a um, uh, custom sort of thing that I tried just as an experiment with a fridge, the stove, and then a table coming out here. Yeah, that's sick. Um, but yeah, with the locking slides, you don't want your fridge and your table like sliding around when you're yeah, trying when to cook. You use, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you're camping, you're never really going to be on perfectly flat ground. But yeah, with these, we use sort of these heavy-duty uh, draw slides. The advantage of this over Teflon is just the fact that one, you can lock things out like this. Yeah. Um, but also just the weight rating. So these are rated to this one here is like 100 kilos. I can pretty much put my whole weight on this. The wood doesn't enjoy it, but it's not going to break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You can also open these all the way out. So with your Teflon drawers, you save a little bit of weight, a couple of kilos, but you know, your drawer opens to about here. Right, And then yep. the rest of this, you've got to sort of reach in. Yep, yep, yep. But with these ones, you can open the drawers all the way out. Yep. And just get way more access to all your to all your things. Yep. I think the most teen question is, <laughs> how long have you had the 64? Is it 12 HT? <laughs> Not a 12 HT, it's a 3F petrol. Okay, um, right. I bought it for two grand. Like, uh, what? I bought no it about five, before the, the Toyota tax took hold, and yep. the COVID tax. Yep. Uh, I've had it for like five, six years now. Had the uh, the roof rust. Yeah, right, okay. It looks Painted bloody it it looks so clean. series grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks clean as. And the inside looks really clean as well. It's got 400,000 Ks, and yes, it's still slow. <laughs> how is it um? How is it on fuel? Uh, we. It, uh, it goes. Yeah. <laughs> it varies. It varies it, a lot. It, it loves fuel. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we do these wings as well, which is obviously to cover the wheel arches. Yep. Um, and they just press in, so these are completely removable. I've got a bunch of garbage and dust in there. Okay. But, um, <laughs> but you, get a, you get a fair amount of space in there. So I was going to ask you about fridges, and I think this is like a harder one because, well, I've got obviously like only a 45 litre King's yep. fridge, but I was thinking of potentially getting like a 90 litre, like a bigger yeah. fridge, okay. like a dual zone. Yep. I understand it's just like they're near a meter, yeah, you know, long. Because what size is your fridge? So these are 40, yeah, it's a 45, 40, 45 which, yeah. you know, for what we They're do, a nice size. It's a good size yeah. for like your weekender. Yeah, I can hold about five nights worth of food for two people, Yeah, but like between that and keeping beers cold, like I just run out yeah, of spoon to tough. put the beers, so it's sort of like, I want to get a slightly bigger fridge yeah. so I can keep the beers on neg four and the fruit and veggies a bit warmer. Well, yeah, again, <laughs> with the, the fact that you've got sort of so much space in there, yeah. it should be pretty easy to yeah. fit something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is another, triple system we've got. Um, yep. This one has the sort of the edge stripping, which is protects this sort of as you're dragging things in and out, stops yep. the carpet wearing. It's also just sort of a look as well as rubber handles, which we are, we do. Um, this is sort of more standard fridge slide setup, which is just your, your fridge slide, low profile, um, and then you just slide out table as well. Yeah, so I think this is what sort of I reckon I'd look for. Something where I can have the fridge out, still be able to cook and prep meals, mm -hmm. and then also have a little bit of space there to get into the drawers Yeah, there. that's it. Um, and, and again, with sort of having, instead of just one having two or three drawers, if you've got stuff all set up yeah. here, put things you don't need, like recovery gear in the bottom. Yeah, exactly right. You can right. get to things without, um, without sort of having stuff in the way. Yeah, because I think it's like once you start uh, really wanting to live out the back of the car, like once you add the rear bar and have your water and your jerry cans, yeah. this is where you want to cook food. You don't That's really want to set your tent off over there and make everything. Exactly. You want to, you know, speed in your fridge and make it all happen here. But these are nice. What's this? Like a, what wood's this? So that's a black butt. We do a few different timbers. Um, yeah. Pretty much we can do like any sort of hardwood. Yeah. We also do stainless, laminate, like whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whatever the customer wants. And these are really nice. And these actually don't wobble around too much. Like no, considering like there's, considering how far it's coming out from the actual car, like you could easily prepare food on here. Yeah, no, it's super stable. Um, if we come through. And boy, you got a pretty big factory here. <laughs> Room to expand. Room to expand, Over yeah. here. So this is sort of, um, this is for a Jeep, so it's a lot smaller. Okay, yeah. This is, um, 
another different type of timber as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. With this table, um, yeah, it's it's pretty sturdy. Like, um, it's not in a car right now, so the whole thing's wobbling. Yeah, like wow, this that, here, no, that's good. Yeah. They don't move. Yeah. Um, we do have a leg as well for sort of longer systems. Yeah. Or if you want more stability, um, we can do legs as well. Yeah. And this is just a double drawer system. So just two drawers, a bit deeper. Yeah. Yeah. And again, for something as small as a Jeep, having sort of this much space for storage is um is really useful. I'll show you this modular thing as well. If oh, yeah, yeah. So the way it works basically is that there's sort of, on this drawer there'll be the same thing, but there's two latches. Just give this a bit of a pull, and then the whole lot just comes off. Same thing in here, there's latches, and then this will just sort of come forward and off. All oh, right, yeah, there you go. We've been working on this design for years and we've got it pretty strong now. Yeah, <laughs> that's, the whole draw system yeah, up. yeah that, that's awesome. And I'm gonna ask you a scary question. Yes. <laughs> What's the weight of one of these units? Yes. How so much, how the much? The great myth <laughs> about draw systems is that you can make them lightweight. These are um, in the range sort of, depending on what you want, of about probably 60 kilos for your, just your basic smaller system. Yeah. Yep. Up to like 100, 120 yep. for something more, more elaborate. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those things that you just got to sort of cop that well, weight that's and, it. And, yeah. and factor that in. Just the weight of sort of timber slides. Yeah. The only way to go lighter is going aluminium. Yeah. Then you don't have the ability to customize. No, so for sure. Pick something off the yeah. shelf and hope it fits. Yeah. And I'm sure it's a lot more expensive too. doing. Probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So back to my setup. Yeah. Look, it'd be awesome to be able to still put the rear seats in if I needed them, but to get a 90 liter fridge in, I yeah. think it's going to be pretty hard It'll to do that. Tough. So if you take the cargo barrier out, you yep. could but probably still fit the rear seats in yep. with the drawers. We yeah. can just make them a, like maybe 20 mil longer than yep. we sort of normally do yep. Yep. to fit that fridge. Okay. Yep. Um, and then the cargo barrier takes up that extra sort of 20, 30 mil anyway. And so yep. you could probably still, if you ever wanted to fit the seats back in, you okay. can definitely make that work. Obviously have the fridge, I'm thinking still on the right hand side. And then uh, I really like that kitchen Trident's 100. The, the um, table, yeah. The table. And then now I've seen the three drawers I am very, <laughs> very, well, okay, the thing about the three drawers, okay, uh, two drawers is obviously is enough, and having deep ones are nice to put things, but I think having three, just for organizational purposes, to be able to say, all right, yeah. this one's food, this one's recovery gear, and this one's, you know, miscellaneous yeah. camera gear or whatever. And this might come across as really lazy, but I hate digging through stuff. Yeah. Like, when I had my tub, like, everything was just buried, There's and that was... worse than pulling uh, everything out of your Exactly right. One thing. And it's kind of hard in this because I didn't, like, I, I wasn't bringing a table camp, I think I was literally just using this. So I had yeah. to bring everything out, stack it all in here <laughs> just to get the bread and then, or whatever's buried. Yeah. Um, the bread did get buried occasionally <laughs> and then get crushed. So yeah, one, two, three, mm -hmm. and just have it reach the, I mean. Level with the fridge. Yeah. And then I can throw camp chairs up there. Mm -hmm. I can still fit, you know, my fishing rod or whatever I want to have up there. And I just also, cause you can still sort of just see out the back as well. Yeah. And you said you wanted a 90, 95 ish fridge. That'd Those, be, I, that'd be awesome. Yeah. So they're normally around what, 500? I wrote, I wrote 500, yeah, 500. 500 was a rough, pretty much high. So you, um, you add about another 100 for the, the table and the slide yeah, and yeah, all that. Yeah. And so then at the end of that, you're still sitting quite low. Exactly so, right. It's lower than what the fridge currently is right yeah. now. So it'd be even easier to access. Yeah, exactly. To get to stuff than, yeah. I think that's the thing, it's hard because so many people putting in like drop down fridge slides and everything, like expensive drop down fridge slides. Very heavy drop down fridge and, slides. <laughs> yeah, when I think the best sort of method is to try and get the fridge as low as possible yeah. from the beginning. Anything that I should think about or that you ask customers when they're sort of figuring out, you know, what they want? Um, Honestly, just how big a fridge can be. Yeah. 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 That's actually true, yeah. But I mean, see, so you sort of have a pretty practical idea of what you want in the back because yeah. again, you've used the car. A lot of people come, um, they'll buy a brand new car and they'll want their drawers and they'll think I want this 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 and this yep. it's awesome but they don't test it out they don't yep. know what they need yep. so yep. the best thing to do when you're getting a new drawer system to decide what you want is use the car yep see what like what you're lacking and what you you wish you had and yep. what would work best for you, sort of how you camp and how yep. you drive yeah and then sort of base it off that rather than saying I just want the lot because you, right. you can yeah. go and put in like a big stove and a big table and everything and then down the track road hey, I've got no space to actually store my camp chairs yeah. my, my <laughs> yeah. food like, yeah. I actually can't fit anything in the car like a, the fridge slide and a table and then you know two or three drawers yeah it's just like it's super basic and it just like leaves options open for like how you want to use that setup where do, where do you usually mount batteries with a smaller fridge 
you can go behind you can the fridge. Fit it in, yeah. So that we can yeah. build a basically a storage box behind the fridge, or or in some cases with a bigger fridge, we'll go behind sort of the bottom drawer. Some cars, like bigger cars, like a U, you can put them in the wings. But yeah, typically with your with your lithiums now that you can get such small ones. It, yeah, yeah. Um, there's heaps of sort of spots you can mount them. Yeah. All right, sweet. So how long did it take you to build a setup like that? What I sort so of described. from sort of first cut to when it goes in the car, sort of between three to four days, depending on the complexity Jeez, that's of the not setup. bad. That's yeah. pretty good. So, you know, that's, yeah. that's uh, doing the, the CAD, get yeah. the design done, um, yeah. cutting up all the pieces, putting it together, paint, carpet, yep. you know, all the hardware, yep. and then installing it in the car. So, if, if it'd be easy for me, if, if I got all the cargo barrier out, remove that 12 volt battery stuff, mm -hmm. remove basically everything, strip yep. it all for you, and then did you want to do the install here at, yep. at your place? We can do that for you, or yep. we can ship it to you, whatever you want. That's um, Okay. We, yeah, so we can, you can ship, do both. Okay. We can ship all around Australia. Yep. Everything comes in a kit ready to go. You yep. just put it all in, bolt it all in. Yep. Okay. Um, or yeah, if you're if you're fortunate enough to be Melbourne, we can install it for you. It only takes about two hours. Yep. One, one oh, to two hours. Yeah, right. It's in and you're you're yep. sorted. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. So I'll go and get everything out of the 80 series, and I'll come back in a couple of days and actually get some shots of everything being built. Yeah. I'd love to see the building process. That'd be sick. So yep. we'll come back, we'll watch you getting built, and then yeah, I can't wait to see the end of the drawers. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna look awesome. So. Yeah. Super awesome, good. Michael. No worries. Thanks so Great much. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much. We'll see you in a couple of days. Perfect. Thanks, Have boys. Fun. See ya. All right, so we're back at the drawer company now, and we're actually here to see my drawers being made. So we're going to go inside, take a peek, and see what's being done. So over the last couple days, I've been trying to work out the exact fridge I want, which is actually a lot harder than it seems. You know, trying to pick a fridge that you're gonna have in the car for a long time is quite hard. And they're all different shapes and sizes these days, but it's been good because I've been going back to Michael through, you know, certain fridges I might like, and he's actually had a sort of mock-up designs in CAD of my sort of drawer system and how it's gonna look. Because I guess when you go to do a build, a fridge is pretty important to work out how you want to size up the rest of it. Yeah, so especially with like wagon builds, we always um, sort of ask the customer what size fridge they want first because that will sort of influence what you're doing. So if you have sort of a bigger fridge like with you, we were looking at sort of a 75 to like 95 litre range. Um, and with sort of stuff like that, it gets hard to fit them in the car. So the benefit of the way we sort of design all our drawers is that um, we can put in the measurements up here of the fridge that we want. So I can put in the widths and everything like that. Uh, so for the your fridge, we ended up going with this measurement, but say you had a smaller fridge, we could chuck in sort of this what your system would look like with maybe like a uh, like a 40 litre, sort of a smaller size. Yeah, you can see yeah. you get much wider drawers. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it sort of just helps getting a visual and then sort of from here we can then go and um, pretty much put print out the sort of the CAD, so this will dynamically update based on the measurements we put in. Yep. And then from here we can just build it all exactly to scale and we don't have to do any sort of measuring or calculating yeah, the size. Yeah, it yeah. fits perfect. That sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously we are going to put wings on the drawer system, so because mine's an 80 series we actually have... Yeah, we've got your 80 series wings right here because every car obviously has a different template. Yeah. And so you're limited to the width of the drawers yep. by the wheel arches. Yeah, yeah. So then you've got sort of, if you look at all these, they're all just squares. Yeah, yeah. So then to sort of fill that out, we have these wings which we, we cut out and then that would sit, you know, like that. Yeah. And so then that would follow the contour of the car. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it all looks neat. And we do this, yeah, we have these for pretty much most popular cars, but we're always adding to this. But the benefit is then that if you weren't able to just come in, yeah. you can do it all here and send it out to you as a kit. Exactly, your car doesn't need to be here. Why yeah, do it all? yeah, we don't, because again, we don't want people having to, most people don't have the luxury of two cars that they can just yeah. leave their car here for a week or so. Yeah, so they can just drive in, put it in, drive out. Yeah. All right, so here we've got my actual drawers that'll be going in the 80 series. So obviously we got the fridge on that side, which is 
bloody huge. Um, <laughs> we just, I, I wanted to fit, as I was talking about last time, a, nine, a 75 to 90 litre fridge. And we ended, I ended up wanting basically how to fit any 90 litre fridge on the market. So in order to do that, we need to make it quite big. So it does look quite large, but we are having three drawers here. Uh, yeah, three high drawers. So it's going to be a lot of room. Like this, this is um what nearly 900 long. Yes, yeah, so that's on the bottom one. And the two top ones will be 800 long. Yeah. So yeah, going to have plenty of storage, and then a fridge that I can feed a small village with. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So what, right now, basically, we're in the early stages, sort of develop, developing it, and we're just sort of testing the drawers and everything, and making sure they're yep. all, all yeah. Yeah. So we we test fit everything before we sort of finally uh, screw everything together. Yeah. Just yep. to make sure the fits all perfect, because um. Whenever you're building stuff out of timber, a natural product, it's always going to be slightly off here and there. And yep. so to a company for that, we just sort of make sure that they slide through nice and freely. Yep. And then from that, we'll be able to just sort of put them all together, got the other two drawers there, um, fill all the drawers, box, paint, carpet, and into the car. I am absolutely so excited <laughs> to get these drawers in the car. It's going to be so good just being how to have organization and just heaps of space and a big fridge. So. I'll be back in a few weeks obviously yep. to see this get done and then um, yeah, get it installed and I can't wait. So we will, we will see you then. Yeah, awesome. Exciting. Thanks Michael, I'll no see you soon. See you Patrick. All right, so obviously is one thing we need to do before we go and get the drawers and that is strip everything out of the car currently. So that's the cargo barrier, the fridge drawer, everything's gotta come out um, in order to get the new setup in. So, but yeah, it only feels like yesterday I put this whole setup in and now the whole tablet box is coming out. But it's okay because I wanna rebuild the tablet box anyway. I, that was too big, it wasn't made out of the right materials. So, got a, next thing is basically redesigning this whole interior of the car to work for the new setup. Alright, so the back of the 80 series is finally empty. Um, it's like what it was when I first ripped it all apart. Um, I vacuumed it all just to make it a bit nice for us when we're all installing it tomorrow. Got all the original bolts back in their holes ready for the drawers to go on and yeah, it's all pretty much ready. I also um, took the seat cuffs off so it's all nice and uh, ready to start the new rear setup. So yeah, all we gotta do now, we gotta load in one item into the car that we're gonna bring with us. But yeah, apart from that, let's get going. So the fridge is an aspect of this rear setup that um, obviously plays a massive role. It's, it's shaped the entire design of the rear end and it's probably the bit I had the hardest difficulty with choosing. Um, obviously I've got a 45 litre King's fridge currently and while it's a good enough size for one person, when you start to go with two or more people, um, you really start to want a bigger fridge if you want to be out there for more than say three, not three or four nights. So I knew I wanted a bigger fridge, but it was what size fridge do I want? I also knew I wanted a dual zone because, well, I talk about this all day, but um, I wanted to be able to have the beers cold at like negative four and then have the fruit and veggies at like, you know, positive four degrees, not getting, you know, turning black and freezing. So I thought I really wanted a dual zone and I wanted it to be bigger than, yeah, 45 plus liters. So I was sort of looking in that 80, 90 range and well, this is what I've set it all settled on. This is the Epicool Down Under. It's a 95 litre dual zone fridge. They're actually Australian made, um, which is pretty cool. They're made in Queensland. And yeah, it's just a yeah, 95 litre dual zone fridge. So um, one box it and uh, see what's inside. So Epicool did send this fridge out to me. So thank you for supplying the fridge. Um, but obviously we're gonna review it as it would be a fridge that I bought. So we'll go off everything that's it does right and everything it does wrong. Obviously, yeah, I've never had a fridge that's 95 litres before. So when the box rocked up, I was like, whoa, this is this is quite big. Da, 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 da. Wow. That is first important thing. So first impressions, um, it's pretty big, but I probably should have expected that being a 95 litre. So it's essentially like two of my old fridges just taped together, like it's the same height and everything. So um, it is good, you know, having extra space and having the ability to, do, to run them at two different temperatures. So anyway, but I won't be reviewing it today. Um, this is just sort of me putting it in the car. A few months time, once I've actually used this fridge, 
we will review it and uh, see how the Aussie made fridge handles the Aussie climate. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how, how it will form. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna head back down to Michael, the drawer company, get the drawers installed, get this fridge installed, because I'm so keen to see how this whole setup's gonna turn out. So let's get onto it. All right, and it's the next day, and we're back at the drawer company to go have a look at the drawers. So let's go check them out. This is me seeing them for the first time. So let's see what they're like. <laughs> Michael, are we good? Can't even stop sanding. Yeah. Okay. That'd be that'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Damn. These are them. Oh no. That's. I was so worried these were gonna be like tiny. No. So, no yeah. It's good. Oh, that's awesome. No, that is, oh, that is sweet. Yeah, that is grouse. You have no idea how stoked I was with how the drawers turned out. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried that with the 95 litre fridge, I wouldn't be left with a lot of storage, but seeing the final outcome, it was absolutely perfect. Oh, you've done a good job. <laughs> you've done a good job. And there's a, oh, that's, yes, yeah, that's for your, uh, your huge Oh, name. that's unreal. <laughs> yeah. No up. way! Oh, that's that's solid too. That's that's, that's well, yeah. It's not in the car yet. But yeah, yeah, no, that, that's good. I can't wait to see this in the back of the 80. It's gonna be awesome. So, I guess that's the next step, isn't it? That's it. Chuck it in. Put it in. I'm so excited. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so these, what weight is of these? So those, these here. ones here with the fridge and the table, they're 250 to 20 ish. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, yeah and then the, the medium duty, so that's what we've got on the drawers and on the table, these are 120. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're gonna break the wood before you break the <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't go chucking 120 kilos in there, but. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we that have... is so good. Oh, it's so nice having it all carpeted too. Yeah. The, it looks so nice. Makes a big difference. It looks, and I love these handles too. Yeah, they're kind of they look, they look nice. Yeah, no, that's that's grass. So as we discussed last time, we're basically bolting the drawers on to the pre-existing holes. So you don't need to drill new new holes to put the system in. We're using the holes for the rear seats. Um, and I think we're using what? So we're one? using two seat belt holes. Yeah. On this side, yeah. the back we're using these factory tie downs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, sweet. So no holes drilled, which I love. <laughs> yeah. So again, if you change your mind. I can take it out. Take the whole thing out. <laughs> that's right, because you built the system so the two top drawers come off. Yes, yeah, so that's our standard sort yeah. of. Thing. Yeah. And then, yeah, so with this distance, these tie downs we use as like a marker. Yep. So you know that the seat's going to be here. Yep. So if this is in front of them, um, then your seats will fit like that. That's perfect. Well, that's that'll why we look cut so this good. angle as well. Oh, that's going to be so clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rouse. See if the fridge fits. <laughs> yeah, that's the next scary part, isn't it? It always looks like it won't. Yeah, it's, it's completely fine. Mint. Yeah, it'll be a nice fit. So what actually wood is, is this? Um, so this particular one, this is a black hole black butt, they call it. So okay. it's a black butt, yep. um, but it's a feature grade, so it's got all these little worm holes and defects. Nice. Which, um, yeah, like... Typically, you wouldn't want, but it, it kind of makes it Adds just character. Gives it interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a huge job. table. That's the that's like the one good thing about yeah, big the big fridge. <laughs> you get the big table. That's dead set perfect. Like it's <laughs> the height. Yeah, yeah. The height's perfect. That's I can. Great. I was worried. Oh, I'm gonna reach the top drawer. No, like literally, yeah. get to the whole back of the door. And again, it's the oh, benefit man. again. Talking about this versus Teflon. Yeah, you know, Teflon. Oh, you don't need to go to there, and I'd be like, oh. yeah. You, I mean, this I can get the whole, the whole door out. And go, That's it. I love it. And I'm surprised like how much space we have here. Yeah, yeah. The like, 80s. I can put so much stuff down the sides. So those ladies have that massive wheel up. Yeah, this is the nicest thing in the car. <laughs> I, uh, I, once, once it gets all dusty, it's covered in shit. <laughs> How do you keep it clean? What do you do? Just vacuum, vacuum it yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use like a wet rag as well to get dirt and yeah, stuff out. Yeah, yeah. The carpet again is like marine carpet, so it can pop water, yeah, dirt, yeah, whatever yeah. you want. And then that, like yeah, you look at that, that's... That's grass. Oh, it's so good. That is so good. Put that wing and put the fridge yeah, on. That is mint. 
Yeah, tie it down if you want. Both doing the same pose, I'll change, <laughs> yeah. I'll change it. <laughs> All right, so this is the setup in its final form. So, as we said from the beginning, this is a very custom setup to how you want your setup to be. I wanted, you know, three drawers. I wanted the ability to sort of not be digging through stuff to get to stuff, and this was my dream sort of setup. Obviously, it was a bit harder for me to also trying to work out a fridge to go with it, because I knew I didn't want to, you know, build the whole system around a 45 litre, um, but I think, I pretty much nailed it how I want it. Like I, I was a bit concerned that the drawers were going to be small because the fridge is so big, but when they're so long and when yeah. you have three of them, it's plenty of space. So we'll sort of just run through it, uh, how it is now. So obviously, got our three drawers here. The bottom one comes out, what's this, end up near 900? 900, yeah. 900 long, so. They come um, out all the way. Yeah, they come out all the way. Access. So we've got plenty of room to put, you know, I'll probably end up doing this bottom one for like tools and stuff. Mm. And then I reckon, top like this one would be food just so if I am cooking or stuff it doesn't, you know, it doesn't knock, knock everything, everything off. off so they have food and stuff out here but the fact they lock out like we're in a small little here, incline here and because it's locked out like nothing's gonna move so they're bloody awesome so three of those bad boys and then of course the fridge so comes out like so and then obviously you got access to yeah. both compartments opens perfectly <laughs> Just fits. <laughs> we planned that. <laughs> Tight fit. <laughs> but um, the but, but this is um, yeah, obviously pretty crazy to get a 95 litre fridge in the back of an 80, and I can still put the rear seats in. So and still have heaps of room in these drawers too. <laughs> oh, I still have room, and and down the sides for sure. Oh, it's just insane. But this is probably my favourite part of having a big fridge, and that is um, a big table. So. What, what what was this again? I forgot what the word uh, was. That's, uh, it's, it's, it's called a black hole black butt, so it's a black butt feature grade. Yeah, so I basically have this beautiful table bench now to work off, make sandwiches, um, and it is huge. Like, I just, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be like, it's like a bar now. It's like, it's just, I can't get over how much has changed, like, the accessibility and, yeah. the, and, and how the and space you know, is you used. You still got this here that you can use on the tailgate, but you've got all that extra space. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's just like the best thing, having it worked out and everything has a special space to go. I'm very excited to make a sandwich on that. <laughs> and then yeah, all slides in back there. So we've also got more storage options. So we have uh, wings that we put in. Yeah, the wings, so the so wings we do. We've got all this storage down there, which I'm probably gonna put like, I don't know, an air compressor in or, or something around those lines. And we also do have um, the front of the wings where we can put USB ports. Cause that's thing, probably the first thing I, when I get home after the day, I'm gonna go put all my stuff in here, work out, you know, how I wanna do my next new 12 volt system. Yeah. And I wanna have, you know, voltage gauges, switches, um, air, um, potentially water. So all those things and it's pretty easy to you know, get back here and just move some parts around. Um, and we've also included, like these, this whole section comes off. Yeah, that whole box comes off. The two top drawers come off as you would have seen in through when we were installing it. So super easy to get in and, and do yeah. wiring. When you're doing all that wiring yeah. and customization, getting because it's all timber. So yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, we make it like this, but you might want to go home and do your own stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can, you, you don't need fancy tools. There's no metal. No, exactly right. And that's what's great about it. Cause I want to do like, my next part is modding out the middle section of the car. So I'm going to sort of, you know, make my 12 volts head and, and set up and sort of mod it onto the back of this drawer. And yeah, that's all stuff you can do. Yeah, it's just changed, changed the game in the 80. <laughs> Going from the tub, like the before and after photos are just, yeah, mind blowing. So yeah, I can't thank enough, Michael, for helping nice. me do all this. Absolutely insane. Yeah. So if people want a drill system for their four wheel drive, Tell me about yeah. the draw company. So, how, how do they do it? Um, they can have a look. We've got all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, The Draw Company. Yep. Um, otherwise, our website, uh, thedrawcompany.com.au. Yep, yep. Um, call us, email us, message us, whatever. We'll, we'll get in touch and yeah, like we can pretty much do whatever you want storage-wise. Yep. yep, with you guys. It was super easy for me to come to you and say, hi, hey, I need this, I want that, whatever. And it could just happen. So That's yeah, it. thanks so much again, no Michael, worries. for doing all this. Absolutely love it. I was going to be going, you know, using it <laughs> for now on, just absolutely just be loving it, taking it everywhere and hopefully not getting it too dirty. I'm going to take care of it, I promise. <laughs> you will for a bit and then you get over it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's the drawer system. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the whole process of it being built uh, from its conception to its final stage. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.